Hi, this is Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Lumi Time watch to make a design like this one, which is based on Rainbow Loom's Raindrops bracelet. To make this design, you will need about 62 rubber bands, maybe a few more or a few less, depending on the size of your wrist, but that's the good average middle to work from. Now, those of you who don't have a Lumi Time watch at home, will be very excited to hear that for the first two weeks of March, Made by Mommy has teamed up with Lumi Time for a giveaway. We're going to give 30 of these watches away to Made by Mommy viewers. If you'd like the details on how to enter that giveaway, follow the link in the description below. And for those of you who want to make sure you get a Lumi Time watch, we're also going to be offering a coupon code for 25% off any purchase at the Lumi Time store. That's also good for those first two weeks of March. So check that out in the description. And now I'm going to show you how, once you have one of these Lumi Time watches, you work with it to build a bracelet. So you'll get it in the package like this, it comes in a plastic case. You pop it out and you'll see that there's holes on each side for rubber bands. And this Lumi Time watch is really easy to work with. Your hook fits right in these stretchy holes. So you can then take the rubber band that you want to have as the outer color on your bracelet band, hook it on, just like, whoo, I just shot that across the room. When you do that, you take a second rubber band, you put it on your hook, and you pull it straight through, like that. And then you repeat on the other side. It's another rubber band. Put your hook through, and then you've got that started. And since I'm going to be making the raindrops pattern today, for the center peg, you actually take two rubber bands at a time. I'm going to be using orange and white because I'm planning for this watch to be a gift for somebody I know who is a Mets fan. So these are the colors he would want the most. So take the two at a time and you can pull those through just the same way. Now you're ready for that side of your watch to be hooked on. We're going to set our rubber bands up on our loom. Starting with the blue. Single rubber band here, then single rubber band to the side, and straight down. I've counted to the ninth peg for here, so that it will be an even eight on each side once it's all put together. One on each in the straight line. And for this outer color, you want to skip this last peg. Then we're going to repeat on the bottom. All the way down the side. And again, skipping that last peg. And for the middle, you take one of each color. I'm using orange and white. That goes there. Orange and white. Keep on going. 
putting on the rubber bands takes so long, but getting them on the right way is what makes the whole bracelet work. So we've got to be patient while we do this. Okay. And that is all of the rubber bands you need for one side of your watch. So now, coming back to the watch that we put those rubber bands in previously, you want to put your hook through all four bands in the middle and then stretch those bands right over that center peg. And you want to make sure your watch face, if you're doing this raindrops pattern, is face down because the design looks different on the top and the bottom and this is the way that will make the prettier half be on the same side as your watch face. So once you have those middle ones, you can do the same thing on the right side with your fingers or your hook, whatever you feel best about. Stretch those over that side and then the same on this side. You can use your hook or your fingers, whatever you find easier. So I'm taking both halves of that rubber band and stretching it over like that. And these serve as your cap bands to start on this side of the bracelet. Now for the raindrops pattern, we're going to start in the middle and we're going to pick one color to go to the right and one color to go to the left. So you're going to hook that top color and I'm going to go the top color to the right and my bottom color to the left and repeat top color to the right bottom color to the left top color to the right bottom color to the left Imagine if you wanted, you could alternate these uh, and make a different pattern that looks cool. Uh, I'm going to go for consistency though. One more in the middle. And then we're ready to work the sides. So we go back here. Doesn't matter if you do the left or the right side first. It does matter though that you do the middle before you do the sides. making sure to pull back that top color to get just this rubber band underneath and bring this one to that center peg and come back to the beginning to do the other side. Turn it this way so my hand's not in the way so much. I really wish I had invisible hands. That would make doing these tutorials so much simpler. And one more at top here. And then this last one right there. And we can take our hook through there and pop this half of your watch off and find out if it looks pretty. <laughs> There 
There we go. So now we have half of our watch band created. We will want to place a C-clip right here where our, the hook is to hold this together while we work on the other side. Let me pull one of these C-clips out. And then we can secure it. So we stretch that out. Make sure we get both sides of that rubber band into the C-clip. There we go. And now this is safe and secure for us to work on the other half of the watch. So we're now going to repeat what we just did to make this side on the other side. So we're going to put our hook through. We're going to take a blue rubber band for the outer side. We're going to try not to launch it across the room like I did before. Ooh, got that one in without shooting it anywhere. And we're going to do it again for this side. Tricky rubber bands. <laughs> there you go. And then in the center, we want our one of each color. I'm using my orange and white. Hook through, catch those two bands, and pull them both in. There you go. And now we'll set this aside while we fill the loom with rubber bands another time. So again, starting, I start on the ninth peg because that's the size that works well for what I want. One down the middle, and then up on the diagonal and straight down and once again you remember we will stop before the last peg so we go right to there and repeat here and if I'm going too fast feel free to pause and catch up oh my goodness you hear a strange rattling noise there's like a helicopter that's a strange thing to have happen in the middle of the video here we go one more rubber band and now we're taking our two at a time in the two colors and placing them Keep on going. And I'd love to hear in the comments below who you would make a watch for if you had one and what colors you would use for them. So that is all the rubber bands you need for your other side. And we're going to once again get our watch for the center one, since there's four, I prefer to use my hook instead of my fingers. But everybody feels confident a different way. As long as you get all four of them and stretch them over, you can use whatever works for you. So there you go. Stretch over. And try and keep the watch in the frame. Otherwise, you get angry comments from people that says they can't see it. And what good is a video if you can't see what I'm doing? So once the center one is over, we're going to take the blue ones, stretch over. Oh, no. Oh, no. It came out. So I'll tell you what I'll do to fix that. I'll put my hook right back in here. Catch the band, pull it through, and put it back over. Another perfectly wonderful way to do it. And then here, I need to get this one from the bottom. Both 
sides and stretch. There we go. I did it. And now when you're going to loom, again, remember you want your watch face down. You want to look at the other side and see which way you had the white and which way you had the orange so that you can do the same here. So you'll see I, or you may have different colors, but either way, one color this side, one color that side. So I want to do the same thing here. So I'm going to take the color that's on top this time and bring it to the left so that it is the same when you're wearing the watch. Trying to avoid twisting it. There we go. So you'll see now I have the orange going to the right because the orange is on the right here and the white going to the left because the white was on the left there. And then just repeat all the way up the bracelet. And if I'm going fast, just pause and then restart when you are caught up. And if you're faster than me, well then, that's just awesome. Good for you. And uh, you can always drag the little bar to the side on the bottom to make me go faster. And one more to go here. There you are. Okay, Phew. and now back to the bottom to do the sides. This one goes to the middle and then we start back here. And just while I'm doing this repetitive step to answer some questions that I get a lot. Yes, I am really a mommy. Made by Mommy is not just a name. I have two daughters who both love the rainbow loom and so I started rainbow looming with them. And we have a lot of fun with this. And what's another question I get a lot? Where do I get my ideas? Well, mostly from them, to be honest. They tell me what they'd like to see me do, and I do it. And I just practice. So this last one we're going to take on the angle to the middle. And then the center one. Straight forward. And that's all of them. So we put our hook through here and we can pop the bracelet off the loom or the watch. I call it a bracelet, but this one's not just a bracelet, is it? It's much more than that. So here we go. There it is. Both sides completed. And now we want to take our C clip from this side and hook the bands that are here. Make sure you got both of them and then you can slide out your hook and you've got your very own Raindrops Pattern Loomy Time Watch. I hope you enjoyed making this with me today. I Love that I'm going to be able to give 30 of you a, a Lumi Time watch by entering the contest that's in the link below for the first two weeks of March. You have to be 18 to enter. So those of you who are younger, ask mom and dad to come to the computer and sign up. 
uh, and you have to be in the United States. I apologize to my international viewers, um, but that is a limitation that I unfortunately can't control. So, uh, if you liked this video, please click like below and subscribe to find out when I post additional tutorials and check out my channel. I have lots of other bracelets. This is the side-by-side -side snowflake. This is the beaded starburst flower. This is my beginner's bracelet. So easy to make and so cute. This is the hugs and hearts fishtail variant. This is the Girl Scout cookies. And uh, those of you who watch my channel know that uh, bracelets actually aren't what I do most often. Much more often I do charms. Uh, like the recent cupcake charm and a uh, heart charm and I have lots of food charms like the uh, hamburger and the pizza so do check out my channels for lots and lots more videos on the rainbow loom thank you again for watching and happy looming